meteorologist Thomas Boy with your first alert storm team forecast. Good Tuesday morning, Gulf Coast. We'll begin with your weather headlines. It's going to be a warm day with scattered thunderstorms. A few strong thunderstorms can't be ruled out north of I-10. But our focus is mainly on tomorrow, as the entire News 5 area will have the potential for seeing severe weather, and tomorrow will bring the likelihood for a significant severe weather event across the southeast. We'll get to that in just a minute, but for today, north of I-10, there's a level 1 marginal risk, a small possibility, but a possibility nonetheless. If we were to see a severe storm, the main concern here would be the potential for damaging straight line winds, but also some hail and a brief tornado can't be completely ruled out. So if you're north of I-10 today, just continue to keep tabs on the weather just in case. As we move into Wednesday, all of the News 5 area will be included in at least a slight risk. Level 2 out of 5, but north of I-10, it's a level 3 enhanced risk. And then for our most northern communities, it's a level 4 moderate risk. You go from severe weather being a possibility and the slight risk to severe weather being widespread, a likelihood within the moderate risk. So tomorrow, we're looking at a pretty high likelihood for seeing severe weather across the southeast, and it does encompass our neighborhood. And within the enhanced risk and in the, within the moderate risk, it's not just your normal severe thunderstorm, because when you go up to the moderate risk on the severe outlook totem pole, you start talking about the potential for intense severe weather, where within the moderate risk, widespread severe storms are likely. Damaging winds could be in excess of 70 miles per hour. Large hail is a possibility, and within the enhanced and within the moderate risk tomorrow, a few strong, long track tornadoes can't be ruled out. So tomorrow, you're going to want to make sure that you stay weather alert and also have a plan just in case for tomorrow. And it doesn't matter where you are across the News 5 area, there will be a chance for severe weather for our Wednesday. In terms of what we're seeing right now, just a few spotty showers stretching all the way from Pensacola Beach up towards the northeastern side of Crestview, also tracking a stronger thunderstorm that's soon going to be moving into Clark County, approaching Coffeeville. So this morning, there are a few showers around, but nothing severe at this time. At the Gulf Quest Maritime Museum, downtown Mobile, window depot of Mobile camera, partly sunny, 73 degrees, southwest breeze at 6 miles per hour. And in downtown Pensacola, Unity Fiber camera, a good amount of sunshine right now, 73 degrees, and a south wind at 8 miles per hour. Clouds will continue to billow up as the day goes on, but it is going to be a warm day for sure. Daytime highs will be in the upper 70s. We'll not be surprised if we see a few spots at 80 degrees. At the beach today, your temperatures will be in the middle 70s. Not everybody will find wet weather for today. We're going to go with the 40% chance that you're going to need your Green of Phillips umbrella, but for north of I-10, as I continue to say, there's that small potential for some severe weather. And the reason for that small potential is because there's a stalled out front just on top of our neighborhood, and that is going to be the emphasis for showers and thunderstorms for today. If that front moves a little bit farther south than those thunderstorms that you see along the, high, the Interstate 20 corridor, they could be a little bit farther to the south. As we move into tonight, you lose the daytime heating. The chance for showers and thunderstorms will begin to go down. But as we move into tomorrow afternoon, we're going to be east of the cold front south of the warm front as the next storm system moves towards us. Tomorrow afternoon, we're going to see thunderstorms develop, and if thunderstorms develop out in this environment, they will have the potential to rotate. A lot of wind shear, instability, and a lot of moisture to go at hand as well. So you're going to have these, sh these scattered showers develop ahead of the main line most likely, and then a squall line. So it could be two rounds of potential severe weather for tomorrow. For those discrete cells all by themselves, that's mainly going to be in the afternoon. Then that main line of thunderstorms will be arriving tomorrow night and possibly lasting through around daybreak on Thursday. But after Thursday morning, that line of thunderstorms starts to move away. Then our weather progressively gets better. But the timing for tomorrow looks like and this is subject to change. 1 o'clock in the afternoon through 3 o'clock in the morning for areas along and west of I-65. For east of I-65, you're looking at 5 p.m. and then that squall line moving out of here by 6 o'clock in the morning. So tomorrow, make sure that you stay weather aware and also have more than one way to get notifications just in case, especially since we could watch that squall line move in during the overnight hours. For today, it's scattered showers and thunderstorms with a small possibility for some strong thunderstorms farther inland. Tomorrow is a News 5 weather alert day. Make sure that you're staying tuned. We'll continue to keep you posted on air, online, through social media. Just a small chance for showers after daybreak on Thursday. Then the weather gets a lot better Friday and Saturday. Decent amount of sunshine with highs in the 60s.